hard. I must work harder to gain your trust, I fancy. Perhaps. I do not blame you, Raven. I fought with that demon once and rode at his side. I know there is part of your heart that mistrusts me. I know you but little, and I'm cautious by nature. But please remember, I was dismissed from the service of that demon because I would not condone his greed and his villainy. He was a monster then. He is a monster now. Aye, and he will not stop until he has conquered all. Until he holds that yellow orb in his evil grasp, the dragon's eye. That will be a sad day for us all. And one that will never dawn, Ervan. Not while I am on Earth to prevent it. I know it, Raven. And I trust you to stop him, even if you do not trust me to say so. Trust must be earned, my friend. We shall see. Every mortal, defeated by the power of the dragon's eye, is destined to remain in the Forgotten Kingdom forever. The spirits cannot allow their return, lest they spread evil and corruption throughout the forest and beyond. Which is why only the greatest warriors, with the bravest of hearts, will be finally chosen to enter the portal. Raven! Your trials are indeed exacting and thorough. Already some of my warriors have faltered in their attempts to prove themselves. But there are many true hearts amongst them. They will succeed, my lord. I am glad of it. The eye grows stronger. The wall we have built grows weaker. Tell me of the wall, spirit, and those who have gone before. You have opened the portal for so many, but none have returned and survived. None, save one. One? Who came back? How so? Spirit Lord? The wall grows weaker. One. Spirit Lord told of one who had returned from the Forgotten Kingdom. I would not say more. Could Ervan be that one? Ervan, who urged me to attack when Navar was elsewhere. Who knows much about this great forest, yet hides more. And who knew the color of the dragon's eye. I grow weary of this game and would as easily destroy these warriors in their sleep as chop their wood and smile false smiles. But I must be patient. An apple tastes sour if plucked too early from its branch. So too my plans must grow and mature before they bear fruit. But in the end, I shall prevail. Sweet victory will be mine. Your skill with wood is most impressive. Thank you. Time spent in the forest brings knowledge of many things, Raven. And in all your time spent in this place, you never heard tale of a warrior who ventured to the Forgotten Kingdom and returned safely. His tale is known. And did he reach the eye? I know little of his quest, but they say that the terrors beyond the barricade were too great for him, that he returned the shadow of a man and perished soon after. And you never encountered him on your own travels? I did once, but we passed the time of day and no more. And you say he perished on his return. But for that fact, Erevan, I might have taken you for that warrior. I am a warrior no longer, Raven. And the dangers of the Forgotten Kingdom were etched all too clearly on that man's face. I have no desire to suffer his fate. Then I will leave you to your labors. These are most unusual stones. You see, they are tributes to the spirits of the forest. Aye, that is so. Strange they have never spoken of that custom. So now they must be returned to the forest. Aye, but I can do that if you wish. No, Ervan. It was I who discovered them. So it is I who must return them. I have heard it said that they must be buried in a clearing by the most ancient tree that can be found in that place. This clearing would be ideal. If it is to your liking, I see a fine tree yonder. 
I thank you for your guidance, Ervan. Spirits of this great forest have been true allies in the quest, and I must observe their customs. But I fancy I will find my own burial place for these tribute stones. I will have those stones, Raven. And you will come to regret the day that you chose to make a fool out of me. Are you sure, my liege? I didn't plan for us to act so quickly. <clears throat> Forgive me, my lord. You are right, of course. We must move immediately. I will see to it. <clears throat> By any means, I must get those stones. You disappoint me, Ervan. It seems the more questions I ask of you, the fewer answers I receive. I say only what I remember, Raven. Very well, then. I must find another way to satisfy my curiosity. What do you mean? I will speak with the Spirit Lord at sunset, and trust his memory is better than yours. You do not believe me? I no longer know what to believe. Perhaps things will become more clear at the Walking Tree. The Walking Tree? I do not understand, my liege. He has had a change of heart, surely. But no matter. We shall bide our time. There shall be other chances. <laughs> Raven shall be destroyed, my liege. I am certain of it. And soon. Raven? How long have you... Long enough to know that a traitor stands before me now. I had to obey him. He said he would hunt me down if I did not his bidding. Believe me, I... Believe you. You who swore loyalty to me, yet served that monster. Who never saw the eye, yet spoke its colour. Who told me the meaning of the hanging stones, when all the time they meant one thing. Treachery. I will listen no longer to your poison. Ha! I am begging you, Raven, please. I am an unarmed man. You viper. You are not worthy of my anger. I pity you, wriggling in your nest of lies. Go, crawl back to Neva and tell him this. I will take the warriors through the portal, and they will destroy the dragon's eye, and nothing will stop them. Nothing. Tell that to your vile master. I know that Navar desires to possess the dragon's eye at any cost, and now Ervan marches at his side. But if the entrance to the Forgotten Kingdom is so closely guarded, how do they hope to realize their dark ambitions? Raven. Spirit Lord, we are but days away from the final tests. Then the portal will open for my warriors. For those who are worthy. But what of Navar, Lord? He means to enter the Forgotten Kingdom. He cannot enter the portal. His heart is not pure. Are you certain of it? The portal will not open. If Navar cannot venture further, he cannot steal the eye. As Erevan promised his fiendish master, something that cannot be delivered. Or is there some other villainy afoot? He keeps away from me, but I know that he watches. He sees my every move, I am certain. Raven, listen to me. It is true I have the confidence of Navar and that he trusts me well, but it was always my intention to use that to your advantage. I know you can hear me. I know also you do not believe me. But I will lead Navar far from this place, you will see. And I will earn back the friendship we so briefly held. I am no servant of that fiend. And would as willingly see his downfall as you. You have misjudged me, Raven. And will come to know that. Soon enough. 
I trusted you once, my friend. But I have learned from my mistake, as every good warrior should. It is time. We can wait no longer. Let the warriors enter the portal, and Raven too. We shall attend to them later. But for now, my liege, your destiny awaits you. <laughs> Our feathered friend suspects nothing, my liege. Now you see the value of having my eyes and ears in his camp. It is time. They are striking, are they not? How kind of Raven to return them to me. If only he knew their true value. Look, my lord, can you sense their power? It is a mere fraction of what the eye possesses. But it will be enough. Patience, my liege. The dragon's eye will be yours soon enough. Then all will quake at the sound of your name. <laughs> Still the embers glow. Navar has departed. But he has not gone far, I'll venture. And though only smoke lingers in his place, his foulness still hangs in the air. Ervan speak the truth. The evil one and his minions have indeed left this camp. But was it Ervan himself who led them away? His words twist and turn like a forest path. Was the woodsman here? Perhaps. But it does not mean that I can trust him. I cannot forget that he plotted with Nevar trapped me at the walking tree and sent me far from the warriors when Nevar attacked them. It seems you lead danger away from me now, Ervan. But how often each good deed of yours hides another's darker purpose. summoned me here? There is magic at work. My lord? All is not well. What do you mean? These are dark times. The wall is shaken. The barricade? Beware. Are the warriors safe? Beware. Beware. My lord, what do you mean? What must we do? This is Navar's work. I am certain of it. And Ervan's too, I'll warrant. I must discover their plans. And soon. So, my lord, the way is open. What care we now for the spirits of the forest and their barricades of air? Did I not promise you this? Am I not a man of my word? Let Raven and his ragged band carry onward if they will, for they have far to go, and much will befall them on their journey through the Forgotten Kingdom. But for you, my lord, behold, these stones have fashioned you a royal entrance. And when you enter through the passageway, it will lead you directly to the eye itself, to the eye and supreme power. <laughs> now, Navar and Ervan have traveled far from this place. But where? And for what reasons? I must remain on guard. And remember, a vital rule of battle. It is when an enemy is out of sight that he is at his most dangerous. <laughs> The 
dragon's eye will be yours soon enough. Then all will quake at the sound of your name. It is hard to know the truth sometimes, when tales are told and promises are made. I'm sure Navar would do well to remember that, wherever he is. Navar, I told you all you wanted to hear, but now you will have found the eye to be a dangerous host, for none may approach it whose hearts are not pure, and yours is not. And what of Raven? It is time for me to act, I fancy. His warriors are near their portal. And you, what shape shall you be, I wonder? What purpose can I find for you? I think I know. I would speak with you. We have nothing to say. You have rejected my friendship. Stop a while. You will come to no harm. I promise. Navar is not here. You may search the forest. You will not find a hair of him. I have honored my pledge. Where is he? Away from you and your brave warriors. Lured with false promise of glory elsewhere. Then I am indebted to you. Aye. Again. This is a dangerous path you tread, Raven. The Eye is a powerful force, and your warriors may never return from the Forgotten Kingdom. You risk a lot, my friend, and can ill afford to turn from those who would help you in this quest. Those are hollow words. Oh, but how well he plays the part of a man much wronged. I will follow him, but when the actor leaves the stage, we see his true self. There is more to be discovered of this. Simple woodsman, I'll warrant, for all his pretty speeches. Spirit of the forest, I know you do not choose to speak with mortals, but I know also you can hear me in this sheltered place. Well, listen carefully, my elusive friends. We have found a way around your flimsy magic. The forces of evil are about to unite against you. And those walls you are so proud of will soon come tumbling down. Trust me. For you, this is the beginning of the end. Soon the chosen warriors will approach the portal. Then their nightmare will begin. For if they knew but half of what lies beyond that shimmering gate, their blood would run cold and their feet turn to clay. So be it. They will find out soon enough. They will discover what it means to battle against the forces of the eye. I look forward to renewing their acquaintance. On the other side. Now, all those who were considered worthy have passed through the portal. And we pay tribute to those who have perished in the attempt. If this quest succeeds, they and all the other warriors lost in this journey will have played their part with great honor.
Are you the last? Yeah, the last of us behind me. That's yeah, really good. Well we don't know Feed them. Stranger in the land. 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 Silence. Step forward. The portal is closed. The warriors wait now in the Forgotten Kingdom. Aye, and I must fly high over the barricade now and join them. Be wary, Raven. Your enemy will stop you still in that forsaken place. Never. You are so easily captured, yet you call yourselves warriors. Well, we are warriors too. We are citizens of the Forgotten Kingdom and we do not like intruders. Take them to the village. We have other work to do. Navar continues to threaten this mission, and Ervan too. They have found a way. They have passed through the wall. Then I must leave immediately, for the warriors are surely in grave danger. Warriors are gone already. Perhaps they have heeded the Spirit Lord's words and headed north. Or has some other fate befallen them? I must follow their trail. Have you laid the false trail like I instructed? Aye, heading northward as you said. Good. We must keep the warriors here a while. Is the journal ready? in a place of safekeeping. Then we shall give it to them, but not yet. We shall say first that they must prove themselves, that they must elect a leader. Think of something suitable. I will devise some games of battle to test their warrior skills. Good. The longer the warriors remain here, the further north Raven will travel in search of them. These stones grow more powerful the closer they get to the dragon's eye. If Raven nears the Castle of Shadows, I shall use them to defeat him easily. Go now. Prepare for the games. The games are almost at an end, but still I must keep them here. I understand. By now Raven will be far from here if he is following the false trail that you left. Soon, he will come close to the castle, where I shall meet and destroy him. So, Lemek, you are our new leader. I trust you shall regard your role as an honor and not a burden. And we have a gift for you. Take this journal. It will help you in your quest. It is useless to us now, for we have tried and failed. Use it to find your way to the Castle of Shadows and to the dragon's eye. We thank you. Now come, all of you, for you must rest. For tomorrow, your journey begins in earnest. And see, we have prepared a hut for you. Now walk this way. Now. Keep them here until I return. By now, Raven shall be close to the castle, and I can defeat him easily there. And then, our plan shall continue as discussed. What plan would that be? Raven! You may be a skilled woodsman, Ervan, but you do not have the eye of a raven. I am not easily fooled by false trails, especially ones laid so clumsily. Tell these savages to release my warriors, or I promise you will speak no more. Do as he says. Villain, why are you here? Where is Navar? He is no more. He was destroyed at the Castle of Shadows. I have destroyed him for you. Lies, more lies. Keep away, all of you. We shall meet again, my friend, and then I promise 
the fight shall be more even. See how he scuttles away like a spineless insect. He knows I would never fire at his back. And as for you, do not cross our paths again. I will not be so lenient. Come, warriors. 